everybody, it's Ellen again. I have a quick tutorial for you for a heart charm. Somebody had said that they, when I made my butterfly charm, they're like, oh, that top part would be really cute. It is a heart. And so I was like, well, yeah, that would be great. So I tried to make it. And this is what it looks like if you follow the exact pattern that from the butterfly. Not quite what I had in mind. So... I fixed it. So now I have this heart like these. So I'm going to show you how to make these. Um, I'm using a similar idea that I did in the butterfly with doing half and half and then kind of zipping it up the middle. Um, hopefully you're following that one all right and we will get started. So this up here so you can see it. Need our loom with the low peg and then up offset pattern. It's just one loom again. And like in the other video, we're going to start by laying the middle bands on here. So whatever color you want for the middle. I'm going to take two rubber bands and start here. And we're going to lay five sets. Like that. And now we're going to pretend they're not there, just like before. We're going to come down here to this end, and we're going to start by whatever color you want for the outside perimeter, we're going to lay a band from the third peg down here, up, and then from the second back up to the first, like that, and come back to the beginning here, and we're going to lay another couple bands from the second to the third, and then from the first to the second. So here first, and then here. And now we're going to do our outside perimeter, so the outside of the heart. We're going to go over th two. And forward two. Go to the right one, forward one, and then we're going to stretch a band from here to here, like that. And then we're going to mirror this on the other end. So starting here, we're going to stretch a band from here to here. And go up one, then to the left one, up two, and then to the right two, like that. You can kind of see the pattern starting there. Now I'm going to turn my loom, and we're going to start by laying um, what is on this one, the white kind of webbing on the inside. We're going to start, so here's my red arrow, start over here, just because that's where we're going to start. And we technically already laid the first row from here, so we're going to lay the second one down to here. And start at the outside and go into this point right here. Like that. And then from here to here. Outside going in. 
and then we're going to do a long one from here all the way to our point. Like that. So from here into the point, here into the, well, the center, and from here into the center. Then we'll do the same thing over here. So these bands aren't here. We already laid these bands for the part of the point, or the kind of starbursty thing. So we're going to start and do the next one. So from the outside, coming to this point right here. Outside, in, like that, and then from this point back to the center. Like that. And then since we're over here, we're going to start and we're going to lay what will be on, well, I kind of did half and half differently, but on this side over here, we're going to lay the bands that are my blue bands that kind of fill up part of the heart. So we're going to start here and go to here, from here to here. from here to here and from here to here and from here to here and then from here to here and then one from here to here Now I tried to add one here before um, to kind of fill some more space, but I ended up cutting it out because it it just stuck way out of the heart, so it wasn't even um, it didn't even look good. So that's why we're skipping here. All right, so we're gonna go down and do the same thing on the opposite end from here to here. 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 And then from here to here. And finally from here to here. see your little kind of star with a little jet off coming off. Now we're going to add some end caps to this and I'm going to end up using the same color as my perimeter for this one only because when I did this butterfly it really kind of blended in and kind of made this top part look more rounded and as a, as a heart, um, but you don't have to. This one, I didn't use um, the same color, and you can see a little bit of it. It's blue, or actually, yeah, it's blue right here, but I would recommend triple banding this one um, either way, whatever color you use. So this one right here, triple banded, whatever color you want. triple banded and then we're going to add end caps here, 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 and here. And these are just double banded.
something like that. So around the center, and then one down here. And then we'll just come down and do this side. So whatever one, the color you want for here, you just triple band it. And then again, around the center, and then right here, double banded. Like that. And then for the center, Just making sure I stayed the same here. Um, double banded, whatever color you'd like. So double banded on your center. And then down to the other side, double banded. that and then this one is usually right here where these meet um, usually your perimeter color so it kind of comes off the bottom of the heart and you want to triple or quadruple loop this one if I can get it to go around that. And then the last one will be here. Um, I would triple band this one as well so it kind of hides in the top of the heart right there. And perimeter color usually. Like that. So that's all the bands we have to lay. So we'll take our hook and now we're going to loom out our little star here through the end caps. And if you just want to start in this end cap, let me turn my loom here a little bit, go through this end cap. Pull that one up. Right here. This one should go this way. Just pull them back towards themselves. Grab whatever one's on top. That. And then come over here. Grab that. And this one. I chose not to do the end cap this way, although I could lock it up with the bottom webbing here, just because we can use these to um, close our bracelet with, or close our charm with, rather. Um, so it's a little easier than flipping these over the other way, and it looks good too. So you have all these out. Now you come back, come over to the other side, start up here. Go in through your end cap and just pull them back towards themselves. And this last one, oops, too much. There. 
All right. So that's all the outside. So now since we're down here, we might as well do this part, the underwebbing, my purple. And you're just going to go in through this middle cap right here. Grab the top band, which should take you back towards the center of the entire heart. Grab that and pull it back towards itself. Pull them back. Like that. Then come back up to your end cap and go out this way right here. Make sure you go through all your loops. back to the other side here and go to our end cap in the middle and loom our bands back towards the center. Like that. And then this right, yeah, this row right here And the last one. Just like that. So now we'll do the outside perimeter. So go in through your end cap here. It'll be a little tight. And just pull this first one over that way. And then you can pull these over to here. Like that. And then again, this is the open part of our heart. So make sure that stays on your loom. So we'll loom around back towards the center here. This one's a little bit of a stretch, like that. So you went this way and then around this way towards the center. Now this band that we need to do next is a bit of a stretch and it's tight in here. So I'm grabbing a different hook um, just because I'm running out of hooks that are from the rainbow loom. Um, my hook that I was I was so excited to see if I could break it while doing a tutorial. Broke when I was doing a tutorial, but I did the tutorial so badly that I basically junked it. And it wasn't very dramatic either. Just kind of a eh, bent over and died. So that was kind of sad. But just if you grab the band and pull it up just a little bit, um, if you think your bands are strong enough, like or stretchy enough, like the jelly bands are kind of slippery, so those would probably be all right. You could just keep pulling this way until you got it far enough. Um, but I can see this band is already stressed, so I'm just going to hang on to it and get it on the other side of the pin, like that. And then I'm going to stretch this, stretch the bands out around until I can pull this to where it's got to go. Like that. I mean, if you break this band, it's not a huge deal. You just put the new band on this one, stick your hook down through here, and grab it and pull it back over. But just be careful with that one. And for your hook in the center. Alright, so back to the other hook. Now we're going to go back 
around to our point right here. go in through here and loom down to here. So the first one, bottom band, then the second one, don't grab your um, bottom two bands, just grab this top one. Just like that. So now everything is loomed the way we need it to be. So we're going to come to the non-red arrow side. You're going to stick your hook in through here or something so that we don't lose this. Then you're going to take off this part of the heart to this point. So just not past this point if you can help it. part you took off is on the left side and the opening on our hook we're going to put right here on this center like that so now I'm going to kind of do like we did before, and we just want to have the end caps on our middle pegs here because it's less to be bunched up and we get these colors on the outside instead of bunched up in the middle. So you see our first end cap is actually this one right here. The second end cap is this one. So we actually want this one way down here. So kind of pull that up even so you know where you're at. I'm going to pull this off. grab just the end cap and pull that back over the pins. Now over here, just the end cap and you kind of want it through the center of the other bands and just put that on there. see what we're doing here. So just the end caps. Now with this one we'll do the same thing. We'll take this off. We want just the end cap back over the peg. Like that. And then here, just the end cap again. So just those are on there. this part you can throw these back over um, if you want. I'm actually just going to pull them both off to the side like that and come down to this peg that has everything bunched up on it and just start letting some of the bands off. make sure you don't pull off the very bottom two bands because those are the ones that are um, for tying this back up. So then you want to get in here and find the end cap you put on. And if you I quadruple looped mine so I have four bands. Um, like that put it back over the pin. So you can kind of see what's going on here. 
I'm just kind of spreading these out a little bit. Like that. So now this is nice and centered. So now what we'll do is go in through this end cap, grab the bottom bands, and pull them over like that. And going through the next one, the bottom two bands, pull them up and over. Bottom two bands, up and over again. And then, since we're up here, take off this first peg and this peg. Off to the side. And we want to be back here. And grab those bottom two bands, pull them up, and then in through here, and take those two bands and pull them up, like that. Oops. Alright. So that's what it should look like. So now you can take off. Take off the sides here. Just the sides so far. Okay. Now come back up here and stick your hook in the end. Take it off your loom. And then on the end snag these in your hook end and pull them through all of the other bands. And just pull that tight. So then you'll have to stretch it out to get the bands to go where they need to go. And I had some kind of, some of my bands were a little looser, so they're not quite as compact as usual. But there you have a heart. Um, what I did was I just took this end here and took a skinny hook, stuck it up through part of the weave back here. Pull them through, and I hid this part. It's not totally necessary, but then if you hide this part well, or well enough, it's a little better on some of the other ones. But um, and you have the nice heart, and then you can um, attach another band through if you want to hang it by a different part. either. So that way you don't have to hang it from the middle if you don't want to. So gives you different options of what you can do with it. And then I'm hoping that you guys are kind of following my kind of flipping around the loom as I have been around the sides because in the future, in the near future hopefully, I have some tutorials for some flowers because there just is not enough flowers um, being represented on the loom and these are all made by well, layering and by kind of flipping around the loom. So I'm just kind of giving you a little show of what is to come. So if you just kind of keep that in mind and I hope you kind of get where I'm going with this stuff so we're not all totally lost together. But this is the end of my tutorial for my hearts. Um, please remember if you have any questions ever just leave me a message on YouTube or on my Facebook page or my blog. 
All the links should be in the video, um, or in the about video section, I guess. So just let me know and I'll try and help you by answering any questions that I can. So thank you very much and I'll have more for you soon.